Algebra word problems number 9c, solving word problems with equa equations. Now we're going to use the inverse of division. An equation is a statement that shows two quantities as equal. So 2 plus 3 on one side of the equal sign is equal to the 5 on the other. They carry the same weight. And writing and solving algebraic equations from word problems is like balancing two sides of a scale. We've got 3x on one side and 15 on the other, and they're equal. To find x, we remove an amount from each side of the equal sign so the x is isolated to one side. So we want to get rid of that coefficient 3. We want to make it so that the x is by itself. So what we can do is we can remove an equal amount from each side and make sure that the scale stays balanced. So because this is 3 times a number, 3 times x, we're going to use the opposite division to remove it. See? So we would divide both sides by 3. That means that 15 divided by 3 is 5, and that makes x by itself, because 3 over 3 equals 1, remember? When a fraction has the same numerator and denominator, then it's just a 1. All right, so all algebraic equations are solved by using inverse operations. That's what we're doing. The opposite of addition is subtraction. And if you want to undo subtraction, you use addition. And the opposite of multiplication is division, and if you want to undo division, you use multiplication. They're the inverse. So any inverse operation done on one side of the equation, on one side of the equal sign, must be done on the other side of the equal sign. Think of it as they get jealous, okay? So Tala divided a pan of brownies among six people. If each person got four brownies, how many were originally in the pan? So our unknown is P, the pan full of brownies. And then our equation can be the pan full of brownies divided among six people. They each got four. See? So our solution is the inverse operation of division is multiplication. And this is a division problem. Remember, all fractions are little division problems. So we have to use multiplication to get that variable p by itself. So we're going to multiply each side by this six to make it get away from that p. We need to get rid of it so the p is by itself. See? So we multiply this side by 6 and this side by 6, and these cancel each other out, and we have p equals 24 brownies in the pan originally. See? So this is just a simple problem to help you set up how to write it and how to solve it. You're going to be able to use this skill on some tougher word problems, okay? So let's try another one. Emma made balloon animals for 12 children at a birthday party. If each child received three balloon animals, how many did Emma make? So our unknown is the total number of balloon, B, balloon animals made. So our equation is going to be the B divided by 12 equals 3. That's the number of balloons divided by the children that each got 3. So here's our solution. We've got the B over 12, which means B divided by 12, and it equals 3. So the inverse of division is multiplication. To get that b alone, we need to get rid of this 12. So we're going to divide by 12 on each side. These cancel out, and then 3 times 12 is 36, and we know that there's a total of 36 balloon animals that were made. b equals 36. So remember to maintain your balance on each side so our scale stays even, okay? I think I'm getting a jumpy video because my storage is starting to get piled up here. So I'm going to have to upload and delete some of these videos real quick. So I hope this was helpful. And we're going to continue on talking about equations with word problems. And keep plugging. I think you're doing great if you've gotten this far and you're following all these videos. I'm really proud of you. And you're going to be a pro at word problems. Right? I'll see you next video. Bye.